Rutgers University holding a series of events this weekend to honor Tyler Clementi, the freshman who killed himself after video of his sexual encounter with another man was put on the internet. His death is one of several recent suicides that are being blamed on anti-gay bullying. CBS News national correspondent Jeff Glor is in New Brunswick, New Jersey with the latest there. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Maggie, good morning to you. Twelve days now after the death of Tyler Clemente, the criminal investigation continues. Meanwhile, last night, a powerful show of support. Silence Sunday night on the Rutgers campus. Silence intended to send a message. I think we share a conviction, a firm conviction, that everyone needs a safe environment. Several hundred people were at a candlelight vigil pleading for tolerance and remembering Tyler Clemente. Clemente is the young violinist who took his own life after learning that his roommate and another student secretly used a webcam to stream live video of Clemente in a sexual encounter with another man. Darun Ravi and Molly Way are charged with invasion of privacy. I'm very angry. Um, I'm very, very angry at what they did. The problem is not limited to Clemente. He's one of five gay teens believed to have committed suicide in the last four weeks. Some victims of anti-gay bullying, like 13-year-old Seth Walsh, who hanged himself last month. Those deaths are now receiving new attention, as the passing of Tyler Clemente puts new focus on the alienation that gay teenagers say they often feel. One recent survey found that nearly 25% of gay college students report being the target of harassment and discrimination, while only 7% of U.S. schools offer support programs. If you're getting bullied and you're feeling uh, like you're on the outskirts, that uh, it gets better. This weekend, MTV recorded messages of support from gay Harris celebrities here. like so, Neil Patrick Harris Neil's and a, singer Lance Bass. I mean, I can tell you right now, when I was in high school in Mississippi, I was one of the first ones to jump on the bandwagon to make fun of a gay person. And I mean, look how I turned out. You know, it's like I had a secret this whole time. While his former classmates continue to mourn, the two accused of harassing Clemente could face up to five years in prison. Some students believe that's not enough. I don't know if any amount of time is enough to make up for what they've done. Charges could be upped if prosecutors deem this a biased crime. At the same time, one New Jersey lawmaker has proposed increasing the maximum penalty for invasion of privacy crimes in the future from five years to 10. Maggie? Jeff Glor at Rutgers this morning. Thank you, Jeff.